is going to talk about uh, code grading on our matrix scanners. I'm using a matrix 300N 1.3 megapixel here, but this is available on all of our matrix scanners running DL code. Uh, this scanner is default, as you'll see. Uh, we're going to run through how to set up and the options you've got for code grading. First thing I want to point out before we get started is this is an indicator of a code grade only. It doesn't meet ANSI ISO standards because it's not in a controlled environment. So this is great for monitoring degradation of print over time or a indicator of a grade, um, but it shouldn't be used as a verifier. So let's get started. Uh, I've got a couple of codes here, as you'll shortly see. One is an A grade code and one is an F grade code. So if we have a look at the F grade code first, this is maybe a typical code that people might want to exclude. Um, this can happen on inkjet printers, for example, if a nozzle is blocked, you've got a bit of dust on the nozzle, some detritus. Um, if the print is running this way, uh, you could start seeing these lines in the print. Code will still read, it's perfectly readable because there's a lot of redundancy in the 2D code, but aesthetically it doesn't look great and maybe there's some readers further down your supply chain that could struggle with this. So you might want to root them out now before they get any further. And then we've got our A grade code down here for demonstration purposes. So first thing you want to do with a new scanner, um, let's do a quick auto setup to set our lighting up. If you don't do this it will skew the grade results for sure. Um, so when this is completed, the image should look a little bit better. So while we're on the subject of light, if this light changes, it will affect, again, your barcode grade. You would have to recalibrate the lighting. Um, it, it's very much affected by lighting, which is why we can't call this a verifier. It's not controlled lighting at all. Anyway, so uh, image looks good. Let's turn on the appropriate ISO standard uh, between these two. Ordinarily, this would be for metal objects. So let's go with this one here, and we'll leave everything here as standard, but you can choose what you do and don't want to check here. So for example, fixed pattern damage would be a good one for this. Um, and you, you can see all of these options in the manual. So we've got it on now. We're going to set our filter down here in code filters for the barcode we're using, which is a data matrix. And down at the bottom here, we can choose any one of those fields to score our barcode on. I'm gonna leave it on overall, and I'm gonna set my code quality index to a D grade or above. So you can see immediately there, the F grade code that I've got in front of the scanner does not meet my filter criteria, and we're treating that as a no read. If I move my A grade code in, you can see that that's now passing. Okay, so it's now working. Um, another useful thing to do would be to add the barcode grade to your data string. So that's this button here, code quality grading field. And again, you can choose any one of those options that you want to score, and you can add them all if you want. If you want to know every detail about the barcode, you could add all of these fields. But for now, I'm just interested in the overall grade. So we'll leave that there, and if we now Scan again and have a look at our A grade code. You can see I've added an A onto the end of that barcode string there. Let's put a couple of spaces in to make them a little bit clearer. So here's my code data and here's my grade here. If I now move my F grade code into the field of view, you'll see we don't get a result at all because again even though the code is readable I'm now saying that this should be classed as a no read so we're not sending the data and we're not sending the barcode grade we can only send the grade out if the code meets our filter criteria um, last thing to mention if we have a look at our grading again um, this can be output as a um, alpha character or you can have numerical if you switched it's this a decimal grade um, so this is more of an ISO friendly standard 
the A, B, C, D, F is more of an ANSI read, but either either works, so you can ch change that. 